So I'm back with Basha. I've um, gone ahead and put her on cost price in our barn. I'm not um, expecting to be interrupted. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start um, and kind of do the uh, back end first. So I'm going to just start um, just real light. I'm just kind of feeling to see if I um, notice any obvious knots or anything. I don't. So I'm applying a little more pressure. I'm going to go ahead and use a press and glide with my palm of my hand. Let's see. She is sensitive. There we go. Good girl. Good girl. up a little bit. I'm going to switch to some fingertip cross fiber friction and see how she does with that. Good girl. Some muscle combing in the direction of the muscle. And Applying a fair amount of pressure. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> good girl. And some pretty good pressure with that heel of my hand. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the other side. Just some real light effleurage to see if you feel anything. It's like one little, um, it feels like a knot, so I'm put, using my thumb with some compression right there and releasing, and again, there's a little, it feels like a peanut, not a peanut, like a pea. So some finger trip compression. I'm gonna go to the heel of my hand for the press and glide. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm applying a moderate amount of pressure. With some cross fiber friction, lengthening it. Trying to separate the fibers. Let me try combing now in the direction of the muscle fibers. Her lip is kind of quivering. And trying to find that spot again that I felt that actually seems maybe like it's, oh, it's here. Use my thumb compression again. And she's licking and chewing out, chucking to get her face. Get her face? Okay. Good. You like that? Good girl. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and switch on over back to the original side. And go to her loins here. So just heel hand compression. doesn't seem to want me to dig too deep with my fingertips there. Let's see. Go to the other 
side. I'm going to bring her back up. She is sensitive. Um, and everything is still new for her too. Cross ties is a newer thing in the last month for her. So I think she's doing really well. I'm going to just go ahead and... Oh, it's okay. Try the cross side of friction with my fingertips, moderate amount of pressure. She seems a little upset, but I don't know. It seemed like she was more worried at first that I was going to do something that didn't feel good, and now it seems like she's uh, she's okay with it because her eyes are um, soft and her skin is different. So I'm going to go ahead and go back, move on to the top of the haunches or the glutes. So I'm pretty light pressure here just because I, she has been so sensitive. So I'm trying to now just do some effleurage with the palm of my hand as I get her used to me touching her. And now I'm moving into my fingertips with some more pressure. And she actually seems um, more relaxed. go ahead and try to do some cross fiber friction here. And some muscle calming and compression on the other side. The girl. So just some compression with the heel of my hand. The girl. And some soft fiber friction. And kind of going back to my fingertips for some muscle coming. Moving on to the croup, um, kind of kneading all around the area of that croup uh, bone, which I know is the pivot point for the pelvis to drop. So I'm pretty much just kneading with my fingertips. And some effleurage with my Fingertips going down to the top of the tail. And over the other side, same thing. So just applying pretty fair amount of pressure around that bony landmark there, trying to watch her. But she still seems okay. Fingertips down to the tip of the tail. A little more pressure. Okay. Okay, so then coming back to um, the upper hamstring attachments for all here. So the bicep femoris attaches up here with the semi-tendinosis and the semi-membrane planus. So I'm gonna just apply some heel of my hand, oh really the whole part of my hand, heel of my hand, kind of a pressing glide here, but in this area, I'm using some fingertip, just kind of press and release. So she's tight, up at the top of the bicep femoris a little bit. Try to separate those fibers a bit. She seems to have settled in and become a little more tolerant. You know, maybe you could come to the back end when you have some left. I'm going to go over to this side. 
So same thing, the upper hamstring attachments here. So just pressing with the palm of my hand and in my fingertips, trying to keep an eye on our face and she's not dancing around. Tight right in here, it seems like she's releasing a bit with her tail. So some cross fiber friction, trying to dig in more. Good girl. So from there, I'm gonna go ahead to the lower um, hamstring attachments right in here. So I'm following her hairline and she's, um, wow, like really tight. Um, and there is a knot right, right in here. Let me. So I'm applying my uh, pressure on my thumb, but I'm trying to keep an eye on her. Good girl. So she's super tight in here. Here's another knot. Good girl. Just applying pressure with my thumb and releasing it, trying to get the blood to come into the area and then just Compression with the heel of my hand. Mm. Almost feels like ridgy. Good girl. So a little bit of kneading, just trying to like to break it up a little bit. So some cross fiber friction with quite a bit of pressure. Go to the other side. Same thing. Lower hamstring. So now this side actually doesn't feel quite as bad. <laughs> I'm sweating, so it's kind of so I do some cross fiber friction. And then some, kind of some deep uppers, just trying to, I don't notice any knots here. All right, so from the lower hamstring attachment, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the quads uh, in here. So finger, oh, okay. So she's sensitive here. So, I'm going to just lightly kind of go in the direction of her hair. Apply more pressure. And then try to separate the muscles a little bit with some cross fiber friction. Heading up by the point of her hip here. the other side. So just some uh, fingertip kind of uh, compression or maybe a deep effleurage, I don't know. Maybe more of an effleurage. And then I'm going to try separating a little bit, get up to her hip bone. Girl. Okay, I don't feel any knots or anything. Okay, so from there, I'm gonna go ahead and go to our abductors. I don't know how she's gonna feel about this. Good girl. So she's pretty tight, actually. I cannot um, easily get my hand in there. And so I'm trying to knead her. I'm gonna move her up. She's at the end of her process. Good girl. Good girl. Girl, so she's really tight. So I'm gonna just see if I can work <laughs> from the edge. 
questions and upset. So I'm trying, I'm meeting her. Good girl. Okay. Okay. And she's actually, <laughs> when she does it, she gives me a little more room. Let me try from the other side. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to go in from the other side here. She is uh, releasing some gas, so actually I'm pleased to see that. Just a little bit of meeting. I think that this is going to take several sessions to kind of get her to release in here. Good girl. And she seems tolerant, but I would say semi-tolerant, not super filled with me. Okay, um, I'm going to move on to the tensor fascia, so the area around here. Um, around her point of the hip, all her fascia. So just some friction. She seems a little less worried about that. So some cross fiber friction, just try to break it up and some fingertip compression around her hip bone. And the other side, same thing. So I know if she's tight here, this is gonna impact her hind, how she carries her hind. So I'm just doing, I know it's probably hard to see from the angle, but cross fiber friction, trying to slow it down and go deeper. Once again, I know that was the feedback. And she's completely dropped her head in chewing. So did you get that? So good. So we're gonna go ahead and um, cut the tape here and then um, move up to the front. Um, so